Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about this particular boat, which is from Medbox. And I've been asked to talk about my personal experience with this boat. So let's unwrap the boat and then we fold the sleeve in half. Really, really nice sleeve. Amazing. I, I really like this. So the first thing I've noticed with this boat when I received it is the beautiful decoration on this boat absolutely gorgeous so they they've given me a black color with the yellow decoration painting and then on the belly side you see the logo of the med bows itself and i really love the yellow lines that go across the edge of the bow which adds a really nice touch to the design of the bow so yes, I am really, really impressed with the decoration and the design of the bow. It's a gorgeous bow. It's definitely the smallest bow I, I own right now. And it's a Turkish bow. So it's designed after the Ottoman style bows, which you can tell it's a really, really beautiful bow. And I really like the length of the bow because it allows you to shoot from any position. You can shoot from also the handle feels really nice holding it it's one of the few bows that i held and it felt comfortable in my hand from the get-go because the handle is just the right size for my grip and also i've been shooting this bow for the past two to three weeks and i have to say every time i've shot the bow i didn't have to remove my my ring which is nice because now my wife is happy as well that i'm wearing it all the time but the fact that the handle didn't give me any problems with wearing my ring, whereas all my other bows, I have to remove the ring to be able to shoot comfortably because otherwise I'm gonna get blisters on my fingers. <clears throat> anyway, so the handle is gorgeous. Now let's string the bow and see what it looks like when it's strung. So this particular bow is 50 poundage at 30 inches. And because the poundage is written on this side of the bow, I'm gonna string it assuming this is the top of the bow but i think the bow is symmetrical so you can shoot it like this or like this it doesn't really matter so let's string the bow and i'm using the step through method it's quite nice and then yeah once you've strung the bow it doesn't require much because it's it's nice and straight and it's a it's quite stiff no movement whatsoever and yeah you can just go on and shoot it even though it's a 50 pound bow i have to say it doesn't feel like a 50 pound bow when you draw it to me it feels like a 30 pound 35 pound or a 40 pound bow i have other bows which are 45 pound and 55 pound both of them you can feel when you draw you can feel that it's actually that poundage but with this one i had to measure it and double check the scale to make sure that it is actually a 50 pound bow because i couldn't believe how smooth the draw is and how light the bow actually feels compared to the poundage that it comes in anyway this is the bow strong absolutely gorgeous and then the belly side really nice see us this side as well and when you hold the bow like i said it's so comfortable really really one of the best handles that i've felt on a bow whether i shoot left-handed or i shoot right-handed it doesn't matter it feels really nice and then the best part about this bow is, in my opinion, the draw. When you draw this bow, it's one smooth motion up until the draw length, the maximum draw length that it comes in. And I believe the maximum draw length for these bows are 30 inches. And it is recommended to draw it to 28 or 29 inch, but not beyond 30 inch. And also, I don't think you can draw it beyond 30 inch, at least I can't, because it starts stacking and it really stops at 30 inches. 
So you go 28, 29, 30, and then it's like, it's really hard to pull beyond 30 inches. So, but the draw itself, it's absolutely amazing. It's like running a hot knife through, through butter, basically. That's how good it feels. One smooth motion up until 30 inches, and then it starts stacking and it stops. So, again, beautiful. And like I said, from this angle, it doesn't matter whether you draw it with your left hand or right hand. It's, it's just amazing. A lot of people who I've talked to who have a med bow, they said that the arrow pass is quite thick compared to any other bow, which is true. It is actually quite, quite a big arrow pass. The only thing is, I'm not sure whether I should be shooting from the binding spot, like this part here, or from the handle spot. I have shot the bow by holding the arrow on the handle bit. And obviously, as you can see, the handle has taken some damage on both sides. But I also shot from the binding bit. And to be fair, it, it, there, there wasn't a big difference in shooting from any of the sides. The only thing was that the binding bit doesn't take too much damage, whereas the handle bit, the leather bit, takes a bit of damage. And I'm assuming that if I continue shooting this bow regularly, which I most likely will be doing, the leather bit will fade away. But anyway, yeah, you can shoot from the binding bit or you can shoot from the handle bit. It doesn't really make a big difference. It just makes a difference whether you're going to hold the bow lower at the handle or the whole handle. So it's up to you, really. Other than that, the brace height is just like a normal Turkish bow brace height. I'll put the specification of the actual bow, the specs of the bow, I'll put it on the, on the screen so you can see exactly how long the bow is, what the brace height is, and what the weight of the bow is. When I check the website, you can choose from the variety of colors. So it's not just black. Uh, there is a green color, there is a red color, and I believe there's a few more colors, yellow as well. And they all look really beautiful. And I think there was a section where you could email the manufacturer and you can tell them exactly what sort of design you want on the bow. So the painting, and if they're able to do it, they will actually do it for you. But their default painting design is gorgeous. And this is one of them. I believe there is a few more and I'll, I'll try and post some of the pictures that I've seen online of their design. Other than that, I think the bow itself, the design of the bow is amazing simply because in my humble opinion, if you shoot a traditional bow, whether it's a Tatar bow, Turkish bow, Mongolian bow, Chinese bow, it doesn't matter. You have to have some sort of design on the bow because it adds so much to it. It makes it so unique. I mean, horse bows already are unique in their own way, but adding a design to it just makes it, that just gives it a little bit of extra historical touch to it, which in my opinion makes a huge difference. And honest to God, this is probably the most beautiful bow I own right now. Another thing that I was really impressed with, with this bow, is that they offer a really high poundage bow. So their range is from 30 pounds to 150 pounds, which is incredible because I haven't come across any other manufacturer who actually advertises a heavy poundage bow. Usually they go up to 80 pounds and that's very rare as well. And then you can also obviously email the manufacturer most of the time and then you can ask them for a high bandage bow. But then you, you run with the risk that they won't give you any warranty on the bow. So you're just gonna have to take their word for it and then trust them that the bow is not gonna break or delaminate or whatsoever. But these guys, they actually advertise high bandage bow. And I think if your goal is to eventually shoot a really high poundage bow, maybe getting a high poundage bow from Medbows will be a good option because of the smooth draw of the bow. It will allow you to practice comfortably shooting a heavy poundage bow. 
<clears throat> and that I think in, on its own is a unique, unique thing that met bows actually advertise. So the shooting experience on this bow is quite unique because the speed it launches the arrows in. My main bow is a 73 pound inch bow. And when I shoot, it feels normal. It feels like that's the speed that the bow should be launching an arrow in. But this bow is launching the arrow way, way faster than any other bow that I've shot. And it's quite, quite awesome because I've shot 700 grain wooden arrows with this bow and I was aiming at the spot on the target and my arrows were landing on top of that spot. Whereas my Korean bow, when I was shooting the same arrows with that bow, which is a 55 poundage bow, my arrows were dropping as they were closing in on the target. So it's, it's incredible. The other thing is, but that might be due to the heavy arrows that I was shooting with this bow, is the hand shock. It's almost non-existent. Like I almost didn't feel any hand shock whatsoever with this bow. And maybe also because you have the leather handle comfortably gripped by your hand that you're not feeling any hand shock whatsoever. It, it might have some hand shock if I shoot lighter arrows with it. But like I said, I did shoot wooden arrows, 700 grain with it. I also shot some carbon arrows with it, which were slightly lighter, but I didn't feel any hand shock. And the awesome thing is most of the time when I shoot my normal bows, I have to take my ring off because of the hand shock, because it's the hand shock that gives me the blisters and makes me shoot uncomfortably with my ring on. But with this one, I didn't have that problem at all. And I was able to shoot however much or however long I wanted to go on for without feeling any pain in my hand. The other thing that I, I have to be critical about is the quality of the string. It's, it's too, too thin in my opinion. I'm not sure if the high poundage bows come with a thicker string or not, but this string feels too narrow. And especially when you try to knock an arrow, it, it doesn't knock, it, the arrow is quite loose basically. So you need very tight knocks. That's the only thing, but obviously you can change the string to whatever thickness you want or make the string thicker yourself by adding a nice extra serving to it, which I did. <laughs> this is my knocking point anyway. So yeah, that's the only, I think that's the only negative thing about, that I have to say about this bow, but otherwise I don't, I don't have anything negative to say about this bow. It's an absolute gorgeous bow and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Whether you're a beginner, advanced shooter, intermediate, or just, you know, want to own a bow, Turkish style bow, I think it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I've had a really, really fun, fun and great experience shooting this bow. Uh, one thing I should mention is that because the arrow pass is a bit thicker than normal other bows, it will help you actually getting your form right. So when you shoot and your arrow might land to the to the left side, or if you're shooting right-handed, they might land on the right side of the target or the spot that you're aiming at. And because of that, you need to get your form right. So when you shoot a Turkish bow, you can do easy khatra with it, forward khatra, side khatra, doesn't matter. And your release needs to be really clean as well. So it will help you get your form right so for beginners this bow might be the perfect bow and then for advanced shooters i think if you want to if you are an advanced shooter and one of your goal is to shoot heavy bows then get the same bow in heavy poundage i would suggest and then obviously the design i would definitely get it with some sort of design because it's worth it it really really is worth it so anyway this was my personal experience and personal opinion about this bow so if you have any questions about the bow or if you own the bow and you, you want to tell me something more about it, then please do comment in the video below. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
need to get used to my wooden arrows, but this is incredible. I'm really happy with this.